making comparisons with fractions and decimals. So let's say we wanted to compare these two decimals, right? Five tenths is what compared to eight tenths? You might be thinking, oh, eight tenths is larger because eight's bigger than five. You'd be right, that's correct. Eight tenths is greater. So we read this as five tenths is less than eight tenths because this is one, two, three, four, five tenths, five out of 10, and this is eight out of 10, eight tenths. So it's pretty clear why eight tenths is greater. What about this one? All right, we see we got 38 in the hundreds place, that's 38 hundreds, and this one's 31 hundreds. All right, now we're comparing hundreds this time because it's 38 and this is the hundreds place, 31, this is the hundreds place, 31 hundreds. Well, still pretty basic here. 38 hundreds is greater than 31 hundreds for obvious reasons. In this situation, we have 38 shaded in out of 100, and this one we have 31 shaded in out of 100. It's pretty straightforward who the winner is, or at least who's greater. What about this one? This time we're comparing a decimal in hundreds to a decimal in tenths. Ooh, now what you gonna do, uh-huh. So, what do you think? Which one's greater? So, in this situation, all you want to do is take it place by place. For example, the ones place, they both have a zero, so they're still the same. The tenths place, they both have a two in the tenths place. Okay, still the same. Now here, we have a five in the hundreds place, and we have nothing in the hundreds place in this number. And you know what? Nothing reminds me of zero. I know that five hundreds is greater than zero hundreds. So I'm thinking 25 hundreds must be greater than two tenths. And just for the fun of it, since we know there's nothing here, let's go ahead and put a zero there and pretend it's 20 hundreds. Now it's easy to compare. 25 hundreds is greater than 20 hundreds, which is two tenths. Two tenths is the same thing as 20 hundreds. Let's do it again. Now, before you jump into it, talking about 50s bigger than five, let's do it one place at a time, okay? So, ones place, zero, zero, they're the same. Tenths place, five, five, they both have five tenths. Let's keep it moving. Hundreds place, zero, nothing, which is zero, they're the same. These are what we call equivalents, all right? 50 hundreds, 5 tenths, the exact same thing. Uh-huh, see, some of y'all was about to jump into it, it's like, oh yeah, 50's bigger than five. No, you need to stop it. Take it one step at a time. Let's try this one. Again, one step at a time. One's place, they both got zero. Tenths place, four tenths, seven tenths, we're done. Seven tenths is bigger than four tenths, which means 47 hundreds is less than seven tenths. If it helps, you can say, oh, there's nothing here in the hundreds place, so that's zero hundreds, so that's 70 hundreds is bigger than 47 hundreds. Now you're like, oh, oh yeah, 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 you're right, 70 is bigger than 47, uh-huh, that's what I thought. One step at a time. Do it one step at a time. Matter of fact, pause the video and do this on your own. Which one's bigger? Welcome back, I'm assuming you paused the video. Zero ones, zero ones, they're the same. Six tenths, five tenths, we're done. Six tenths is bigger than five tenths. Six tenths is greater than 5,800s hundreds because remember, six tenths is equivalent to, yeah, you know, 60 hundreds. And we know 60 hundreds will be bigger than 5,800s. hundreds. All right, I think you got the hang of it. I mean, at least if you were doing what I told you to do then you got the hang of it. If you weren't doing what I told you to do, rewind the video, try it again. 